my gosh, legacy. I feel like that's such a, <laughs> it's like, it's in the same realm as like icon, right? Yeah. So legacy, I mean, if I, if I had a magic wand and I could wave it and, and make my legacy be something, I, I honestly love that it's pretty much what I'm doing with nonprofit Girls Make Beats. Um, again, I love my journey and the things that I've gone through to get to where I am in Absolutely. music. But I think being able to impact more people kind of takes your legacy mm -hmm. from just one person in one direction to so many different directions. Yeah. So um, yeah, I think just being able to like be a positive impact on as many people and I just want people to like think back on my legacy yeah. and say, hey, because Miss Tabor or Whitney or Willie T or whatever one of the nicknames, <laughs> I have a million nicknames. I never heard Willie T before. <laughs> that's right? a kook and tricky in <laughs> them. That's all, yeah. Um, but that would be that would be the the, the legacy for me. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're making you're making it different, and I, I love that you're opening doors for, for for young women, and I think that it's it's important, and that's gonna last, you know, a long time to open up. It's just gonna just snowball. Snowball. So that's 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 powerful. So you know. It's weird. I think for me, for, for me, um, you know, I just I love artist development and I love being able to find and discover talent and kind of nurture that. And I think that that's why you know I love the camp so much. Yeah. Because um, it's a way for us to kind of give back and, and so, like something like this never existed when we were coming up. Never. And so for me to, to be a part of, of this and, and be able to have a platform for artists all over the world and songwriters and and, and singers, it's like. It's my way of like giving back and, and, and giving these kids opportunity that I never had. Yeah. So I mean, if that's if that's my legacy, I, I would be happy with that. Just ha being able to to be um, you know uh, a ray of light or, or a hope for some of these artists like that because uh, depending where you live, right? Sometimes you, you, you you're, it feels hopeless that like there's no one that understands who I am as an artist or what I want or what I need, and you know it's you have to have drive and vision to kind of get to get there and a lot of people it's hard where you where you come from to have that sometimes well and I, I one thing I love about the vocalize you platform and what you guys have built and what you guys are continuing to do for these kids is being from a reservation you know I didn't have the opportunity it was you're a, you're a fisherman you're a mom or you know right. that's really it that's yeah. all you had uh, you did sports right, and right. Um, the creative arts never really got a chance even though music is so rich in our culture yeah. um, you know being being a Native American yeah. you know not being able to have those yeah. I mean resources at all but then a program like you know vocalize you you can then fly to one of these cities and then yeah. you hear stories from people like you and I who are like you can still do all yeah. of those things in your town or in your city, um, which I think is dope to start their legacy. Which is powerful too. Like you know, it, it got really emotional inside after your after your um, your master class, and and the, the girls were were very emotional when they were saying how they felt like you were a representation of them. Finally, there was someone that represented them, and I saw you guys get you got teary eyed, and everyone and the girls were started crying. That's powerful. Yeah. And it's funny because even like when I was in high school. You know, I used to, in, I started interning at Def Jam, which you knew. Mm -hmm. I started interning at Def Jam when I was 19, and I would drive from Palmdale to Ooh. Hollywood every day. But I remember coming back to, to Palmdale, and my friends would be like, they didn't understand the business. I, I was trying to learn it, but they didn't understand it, so they would really kind of, would, yeah. oh, you think you're better than us? And, oh, you're working in music? Hollywood. And no one, no one understood. And once, once I started kind of doing well for myself, and it was like, oh, he's doing this, he's doing that. But in, in, when I was interning and I wasn't getting paid, it was like, He's trying to be something that he's not, and he, you know, he, whatever. But I never knew the possibilities of what, what, you know, music entails or what behind the scenes looks like. Yeah. And I think that now there's so many people that represent so many different things. You can do whatever you want, but you have to at least, like you said, you have to see it and go like the saxophone. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Like I want to do that. Yeah. You know. So I think that's really powerful and, and the visual the visual is I think honestly it's it's one thing when it comes to to what I do with girls make beats and just now as a person yeah. um, I didn't realize you can't I didn't I can't believe I didn't say this during because I say this in class all the time to the girls if you can't see it how can you dream to be it absolutely is literally one of my taglines so um, again it, it continues and I, I love that that little section at the end with the yeah. with all the girls where I was just like, you're doing what I am doing for you. You just don't see it yet. Right. You don't know right. it yet. There's 
little sisters, brothers, people that are looking up to you right. coming to LA, being at Vocalize You, yeah. they're going back and saying, oh my gosh, I want to be just like you. So, Absolutely. yeah, powerful stuff. <laughs>